Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Gil, uh, uh, I hate to break it to you. I think there's only one or two games left. <laughs> but the Nikola Jokic showed Soto the MVP tonight. <laughs> the Nuggets beat the Timberwolves one sixteen to one hundred seven. Nikola Jokic forty one points, eleven rebounds, seven assists, three steals on sixteen of twenty shooting, and he did it against the guy many believe will win the Defensive Player of the Year. He made mince meat out of it. I, if, if I'm Rudy Gobert, I'm sick because every time he goes up against Nikola Jokic, Gil, he cooking for forty. Yeah, you know, the, the, the thing about that is uh, showing how Rudy plays him, which is he's not guarding him as a man. He's a secondary defender, which means these defense awards you're getting, you're not getting it stopping the guy that's a problem, right? Jokic yeah. is against... Uh, who did he go get? A- Anderson for most of the part, Nas Reed, and then Rudy sitting in the back trying to block the shot and alter the shot. You can't say you're a great defensive player of the year, and you can't even actually guard the best player. Like, yeah, he had 40 because you want to sit back there protecting the rim instead of blocking and guarding the guy that is the threat. I think they started out probably with, you know, uh, you know, you try to give him a different look. Any great score. Or guys, you try to give them a different look. You don't want to give them a steady diet of anything. There are very few guys that were at that elite level. You know, back in the day, Rodman would take the best player and he would guard him the entire game. Or you had Jordan would do it uh, uh, for some le- for stretches of time. LeBron could do it. Kobe could do it. Kawhi. But for the most, but you know, back then, David Robinson and Akeem Olajuwon, it wasn't no switching off. It wasn't no Otis Thorpe. You take David Robinson for this. No, Akeem had him, and he had to sh- neutralize him. Plus, he needed to go give you his twenty, his customary 25 to 30 also. But this is why I believe uh, Wimby Yama, Wimby should win Defensive Player of the Year. Because it's Defensive Player of the Year. Who's the best defensive player? Not who's on the best defensive team. Uh-huh. Because let me ask you this. If I took Wim, if I took Ro- Gobert off that team and I put in Wimby, would they be better or worse? And if I put Gobert on the uh, uh, the Spurs, would they improve? No. Wimby is a better defender than Rudy Gobert. Because you know how I know? They had a three-on-one, and ain't nobody want to lay it up. <laughs> it's a, you take it, now. Nah, you go here. Hey, hey, As a matter of fact, let's kick it out to the three. And then he wouldn't even take the three because he saw a uh, uh, Wimby headed out that way. So for me, Gil, I think Wimby should be, win, win Defensive Player of the Year. I don't know if it's ever happened before a rookie wins defensive player of the year, but there, if there's ever a year where mm-hmm. a rookie should win the, an award with such prestige, this is the year it should happen. I mean, I mean it is. This, this, this is his award. I mean, it's hands down. Defensive player, meaning he's guarding the ball, he's help side, he's defending. Yeah, he got hit for 70, and six, but he took the challenge. Yeah. He took the challenge to try to guard these guys, knowing that you he couldn't stop Jokic, he couldn't stop Embiid. Those yeah. were learning, those were learning games. And he's grown from the first day we seen him to now. Yes. He looks like a whole different player. And he I, does. I me watching this game today, this is the battle of number one. And Rudy, you didn't want to take the challenge. Hell no, I don't the, blame him. <laughs> be the, the guy that is the winner. Jokic says, all right, look at I got the MVP on the line. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't get why why teams put guards and small forwards on Jokic. But it's just dumb basketball. <laughs> Gil, I think they look at him and he doesn't have the musculature or of, of a Dwight Howard or he's not uh, uh, sculpted like an Elijah Wanda have the caps on his shoulder like a David Robinson. So you just look at it, you're like, man, he just looked like a blob. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he ain't got no definition. He ain't got no, the only cuss on him is that when people scratch it. Yeah. He probably ain't got no cuss on his knees or anything like that, or you know, scrapes on his legs or nothing. And so you probably underestimate him by just looking at him. But once he gets out on the court, at some point in time, you're like, well, hell, 
He moving people. He hits, he ducks, he dips in with that shoulder. He's just lodging people from that spot. So clearly he's stronger than he looks. Yeah, you wouldn't put you wouldn't put a small guy on Zach Randolph when he played mm-hmm. or Mark Gasol, right? Had the same body and the same type of move. He is skilled, which yes. you're not gonna bait him to throw all of his weight on you. No. He, he's just going to move around. He's just going to keep moving till you get, and, and you're so small compared to him. When he does decide to shoot, you're nowhere. Like, this is like Kate putting a guard on KD. He doesn't right. sit down there. Right. <laughs> like a fucking fly. Sorry about the F word. You're a fly in his world. Yeah. Right. And that, and that's, that's just the, the honest truth. Like, why are you putting, why are you putting smaller guys on him? You just, you're just feeding him. Yeah. And the thing is, Gil, that he is so good at, and the greats are really good at, he knows the moment you anchor, he spins off it, boom. The moment he feels you, you, you sturdy, you brace yourself, like, oh, you're playing for this. And he just, he just, if you notice, he'll just keep like, okay, oh, that's a little harder. Oh, until yep. the basket he go. Yep. And the next thing, like, well, damn, I thought I had, no. And he, Gil, I, I'll be honest, I don't know if I've ever seen a guy only Kyrie can match his touch around the basket. No big. I've never seen a big have that kind of touch with either hand around the basket. Zach Randolph. Like, like Zach was all left hand. Zach I, ain't, I don't think Zach ever shot anything with him. It was all, <laughs> but it was, a, you know, guys like that. Uh, you remember, uh, was it Sweetney? Right? Had a had a uh, nice touch. You know, guys that are not very athletic in their yes. big. They usually have a great feel around that basket. Right. It does. That's why you have to keep him away from it. Whittling. Let let him try to alter and throw shots up. Um, and and I, he shoots the ball with such. I mean, you ain't blocking that shot. I mean, he he's shooting it from way up here like Larry Bird, but he's seven foot tall. You'd rather have that, right? I rather <laughs> except except when he except when he plays against the Lakers, because it doesn't matter where he shoots it from, it's going in. Clock winding down, it does not matter. One foot, wrong foot, two feet, it doesn't matter, Gil. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right about that. But I did. I, I think I think tonight he sold it up the MVP Gil. His last seven games is 41, 11, and 7, 3 steals, 16 of 20. Mm-hmm. 28, 13, 7, 3 steals, 13 of uh, 20. 19, 14, 11 assists, 3 steals, 6 of 13. 36, 17, 10 assists, 14 of 24. 42, 16, 6 assists, 2 blocks, 18 of 32. 26, 18, 16 assists, 11 of 18. 32, 10, 5, 11 of 24. It's mm-hmm. over, Gil. Not, no, it's, it's – <laughs> when Embiid went down, it was over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was it was it, it, it was over. It's it's just one of those things where. If this was last year or the year before, we wouldn't even be questioning who the end. No, it is. Right. Yeah. But the fact that he's probably gotten one or two that wasn't actually his. So now we you, you want to try to figure out how not to give it to him. Yeah. Right. And yeah. at this point, the milk is spilt. You can't do nothing about it. You can't rob him today, no. right? You can't no. rob him today. You can't penalize him for what you did two years ago and three years. You can't do it. This is, he earned this one. It, you know what it is, Gil? It's the old saying. My grandma said, boy, you can't punish somebody for the sins of their father. Yep. Because they get, because, <laughs> because somebody made a mistake or you robbed somebody else, you can't make it right now. Yeah, you can't make it right now. I mean, look, and I understand, man, but like some of the greats ain't win. I, that, that ain't, hey, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Yep, no some of the, you're right. Some of the greats didn't win three in four years. Mm-hmm. But un, uh, where we are now and what in what he's doing, I, I don't, I, I and I'm not so sure it's going to be close. I, I, I really don't. I, I don't really think it's going to be close. I know Luca. Luca has been on an equally impressive tear. Mm-hmm. But I think that the, what was helping Yoke is that when Murray went down mm-hmm. and Murray had rested that knee and he he's doing this. And because remember, he did a lot of this in what was that the year that Murray was out. Yeah. You remember he he and he put up these numbers like, oh, he got to give it to him. Yeah, but it's, so but that's what I'm saying. His team was 10th. They had the 10th best record, right? So yeah. it's like, 
he held the Denver up to the 10th best record, right? That's holding that holding him up, right? But they they found a way to give it to him. Um is he going to be the worst player on that list? Yeah, but someone has to be it, right? Someone has to be the worst on that list. Oh, you think he's the worst MVP? I mean, I don't know if there's such a thing, but <laughs> four, three, three and four years. I want to be the I want to be the poorest billionaire. Yeah, <laughs> no one has to be ten. I'd rather be on that list than not on it. <laughs> exactly. I, I'd rather be on the list. Like, hey, 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 someone needs to be 10th. I'll, I'll take it right now. We were talking about Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, this is rookie's Wimby season. Mm-hmm. He has eight games with at least seven blocks in 70 career games. Rudy Gobert has seven games with at least seven blocks in 754 games. Mm. He's 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 a better defender. And better. people are like, well, Oh, but he's seven four. But y'all may seem like Rudy Gobert six two. <laughs> what the what the what the hell? He said he what is Rudy seven two? Yes. Like but what's that, with that? No. The, the defending is defending. I don't care. Yes. If you nine feet and, and somebody can't score, that is called defending. Now, I want to put it out there today. When he wins this award. As a as a as a uh, as rookie. a do not get writers fatigue and voters fatigue and voting. Yeah, they might if he be, win ten in a row. He might be Wayne Gretzky in this defensive award. He should. I like it like baseball, like the the golden the glow gloves. I mean, you know, Griffey Griffey had like a streak of like what ten. Bonds yeah. won like eight. Bro, if you the best at some key, hey man, now uh, you know he don't want enough of him. He don't want five in a row, six in a row. So, and, if and he's the best at it, give it to him. NBA, at the NBA, we have a problem with that. That's our one problem that we have. That we they get tired of voting for the same person, and you can't, you can't, you you got to stop it at some point. You got to give the people who deserve it their awards, and you can see that. Wimby could hold this thing down for a while. Oh, yeah, for sure. And th- th- but and then people were like, well, man, man, look how tall Wimby is. Wimby 7'4". I say, man, y'all talk about y'all talk about Rudy Gobert like he mugsy bows. <laughs> and I'm over, he he's seven two, seven two and a half, something. So it's not, I mean, we're splitting hairs here. I mean, there be, I mean, Draymond, what? Draymond six, 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 seven. Yeah. He's defensive player of the year. Jordan was six six. Uh Albert Robertson was six four. Uh, one of the few men in NBA history to ever have a quadruple double. Yeah, did it with steals. I mean, for for, for the most part, big men are usually the ones that win it. You know, you have Shaquille O'Neal. Um, I don't even know if he won. No, Shaq ain't never won. Shaq never won. Won one, but you got uh David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon. These are big guys. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting bigger now. Not as maybe Artis Gilmore won it way back when, but uh. Yeah, I, I think now, Gil, with the, but the guards, because remember, GP won, Jordan won, Alvin Robertson won, Robin was was six eight, he won it twice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it probably you're probably right because of shot blocking. Yep, shot blocking, re- shot blocking, rebounding, like, and now guys, and now guys are getting really good with their hands. Now they're counting deflections yep. as as a, as a defensive stat. And guys were like, well, hold on, damn. Y'all just adding stuff, trying to find ways to create categories. <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like a, a, a defensive back. Well, he had a, a seven deflections. Well, that means he didn't catch the ball. You know what I'm saying? I thought the objective was to catch the ball, not deflect the ball. So if he deflected, why did he get, steal it? So uh I get it, but I think this was this was a great game last night. It was close uh between the Nuggets and the Timberwolves. But late with probably like the last five minutes, the nugget nuggets blew the game wide open and uh they they coasted from there. But Jokic had an unbelievable night, 41, 41, 11, seven assists, three steals on 16 of 20 made field goals. So the Nuggets moved to first in the West and mm-hmm. needs to win the last two or one of their last two and have OKC and Minnesota League lose one of those, and they will be the number one seed in the Western Conference. I, the I, Maverick, I, go ahead. I kind of got the sense those last five minutes. I kind of got the sense the last five minutes. 
They didn't want to win that game. Who didn't? Minnesota. Why not? I, I, just something about I, 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 everybody's shooting for Pelicans right now. I think everybody want to play the Pelicans first round. I think every like that third that third seed looks amazing right now. Mm-hmm. That that second seed and that first seed, you're gonna either play Clippers, Dallas, Lakers, or Suns. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, huh? That third seed, the the right. yeah. <laughs> Give me them. Yeah, I, I I think the thing is, uh, well, I know who did want to win. <laughs> A <laughs> different one to win because Yogi said, "Give me the down because he had like four straight possessions where he went right into Rudy Gobert's chest. Yes. He said, "Give me, give me the ball. I want to win. They don't want to win. Okay, well, I'm gonna help y'all not want to win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this game over." And it, he, you know, who go? You think you manhandle any goddamn way? <laughs> 